Hi everyone. For this uh, interview, I'm, I'm my guest is one of the country's prolific fashion designers whose name has been mentioned in international beauty pageants. Please welcome Gian Lasala. Thank you for having me on this interview. Naku, obvious ba? Tignan mo na lang ni Timo. Ang ganda yung nga na. <laughs> no? Masaya lang ako direct because like, you know, we've been working for like how long already? Oh. And, um, it's just really weird lang sometimes because I don't get assigned to you sa Fashion Week. Iba yung director ko lagi. But of course, mm. so when we get to have the chance to work talaga, you always leave a very beautiful impression to me. It's always a uh, beautiful experience. So, Apart from outside work, we're also friends, diba? So when I started oh, with naman. Fashion Week, yeah. When I started with Fashion Week, um, you always have a good feedback about me. You always recommend me. And I owe it so much to you and I praise the Lord for it. So that's the reason I'm happy always working with you. <laughs> Nako, salamat. Gian, ano lang ha? Ang gagawin natin, uh, pag nagsasalita ako, huwag, huwag tayo magsabay pag nagsasalita ka kasi parang napuputol kapag ano napansin ko oo okay so Gian may, may, may if I may ask lang no? uh, when did you first realize na you are meant to become a fashion designer Kailan? actually direct yeah actually direct bata pa siya and uh, when I became a Christian kasi it, uh, you know the Lord really made me realize na everything was really an, his ordination talaga so When he set it up, uh, it, I was six years old then. So, you know, my, you know, it's always a family affair pag Miss Universe, tama. As early as six? Yes, as early as six years old. So, 1994, Miss Universe yun direct. And, you know, it's a family affair. So, my mom brought me to my grandfather's house. And dun talaga, when I watched Miss Universe, of course, my dream was not to be a Miss Universe, but... You know, I really enjoyed the national costumes, the women, the celebration, the energy. And right after watching Miss Universe, that dream never left my head. So uh, after watching, I got a paper. And what I could really recall is I started sketching evening gowns. Really? Really? Oh, oh. So um, looking back, I knew talaga that that was really the dream of the Lord for me. And that never okay. really left me. Every day, um, I sketched. I asked for coloring materials. I asked for papers. I never asked for toys. It was mostly world at last. I, I got so curious about where these countries are. At the oh. same time, um, I, yeah, and I asked for coloring materials, <laughs> drawing materials. So I was not the typical kid. Um, I was really, you know, set apart by the Lord to really fulfill His dreams for me to become a designer. So here I am now. Um, how, old, how old am I? 34? 28 years after I'm here. 28 years! So, so, yeah. Regian, na-mention mo na si mami mo kanina at si lolo mm-hmm. mo. Anong naging reaction nila nung, nung nalaman nila that you are inclined to fashion design? The arts or especially fashion design? They were not surprised direct. In fact, they were actually very supportive because we are a family of artists. Kasi, and even my mom, uh, my mom really enjoyed designing her own clothes also. 
So, mm-hmm. yeah. So, she has her modista back in Cebu. And what she does is she collects fashion magazines. Yung mga uso dati direct na. Mm. Diba yung mga magazines natin ngayon, puro pictures lang. Yung binibili mm. niya, yung merong may kasamang patterns. <laughs> yung, Ay, oh, 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 oh. So, oh, Yes. Oh. And pinapagaya niya yun. So, I grew up direct na yung Kaya yung fashion sense ko, it's very different because we really grew up, you know, not following trends, but setting it on our own. And, you know, uh, growing up Catholic, my mom and dad, they were very strict about really looking good, keeping mm-hmm. the base, and how to the color coordination. So it was really not, you know, it was not a surprise for them. And they even encouraged it. Um, just that uh, mm-hmm. back in college when, yeah, so... It was just during college na I think that was during the Asian crisis when uh, of course our government was not do, you know not any better uh, when okay. my dad lost his job yeah she he was not able lang to uh, to afford to send me to a fashion school uh, okay. which I did demand yeah, which but I even demand. even your dad supported that even your dad supported oh, yeah. your ah oh, okay okay they were very happy oh, oh kasi kumbaga um you know, it's always uh, a fascination of parents to have a child prodigy you know, who's mm-hmm. very talented. Uh, oh, and, yes, yes. Yeah. And growing up, um, even up to now, they're, they're still very happy, you know, that I ended up uh, the way the Lord wanted me to be. More so that I am a Christian and I'm designing for God. So things are actually much better now. Jenny, kwento mo nga sa amin, ano ba ang Gian Lasala line? Ano ba yung linya ni Gian Lasala sa paggawa ng damit? Okay, so for me direct, no. Um, well, two things. So there, I was, uh, I was before I became a designer for the Lord. What I really wanted was something that expresses uh, femininity. So hmm. it's sexy, it's very feminine. And then when I became a Christian, what I usually do direct is I always ask the Lord for a vision, for an inspiration. And he always uh, brings me to uh, how he designed women, how he created women to be someone okay. who's very of love, expressive of adoration, um, affection, yung mga ganon. So the des- my designs now, actually, Derek, if you can see it, um, it's very, uh, it has God's energy. And even me, sometimes, I don't understand. So, it's mm-hmm. empty, edgy. Diba, napansin mo yung last natin yes. na fashion show? Nagulat ang lahat kasi I went uh, the streetwear route. So, ako naman, when I explain it, it's really from the Lord. Because um, even me, myself, I don't understand what He wants me to do. So, kung ready to wear, it's very feminine and edgy. If mm. the atelier naman, the evening gowns that we do for Miss Universe, it's very body, form-fitting, beaded, mabigat. And then, uh, pag ano naman, bridal, it's more minimalism. Nothing too, ano, nothing too loud or... Uh, but in generally speaking, with all the three brands, direct, it really highlights the woman talaga. It's, mm. uh, and it's also very colorful. Yeah. Pero Gian, gumagawa ka rin naman ng menswear, no? Kahit pa paano. Paminsan-minsan. Paminsan-minsan, yeah. For formal occasion. And if given the chance in the future, direct, since we're already a global in a sense with these collaborations with big retail retailers, Mm-hmm. My uh, my next dream now is to collaborate with uh, sports brands. Because as a mm-hmm. guy, mm-hmm. I love to work out. I travel. I I do mission work. So I mm-hmm. love um, I love I know I love sportswear and I collect shoes, rubber shoes. So maybe in the future that no man that line. The chaka Gian feeling ko may market na rin sa sportswear. Eh. Kasi may yeah. kilala akong mahilig gumawa ng pangbata at saka pangbabae. Biglang pumasok sa sportswear. So, so there must be a market, no? In a way. Yeah. Oo. Mm-hmm. And I I noticed uh, this time direct no like um before kasi big brands uh local or abroad they would look at big designers no to tie up with marketing. But mm-hmm. right now what I noticed they're slowly opening up to young talents who are capable naman of um, producing good collection. So, yeah. So, hopefully soon, maybe, hi, Nike, Adidas, I don't know. 
Puma. Ba yun na? Di ba ba yun na? Anyway, Gian, Gian tawag dito. Medyo matagal ka rin sa industry. You know? I saw you grow in yes. the fashion industry, Philippine fashion industry. Ayoko mag-delve sa negative. I would hmm. like to delve on the positive side. No? Uh, what is your best experience? Ano yung pinakamagandang experience mo so far sa Philippine fashion industry? My best experience, Derek, was when I finally earned the respect of Derek Joey. <laughs> mm-hmm. Kasi I was one of those kasi na sobrang pasaway talaga. <laughs> like, kung ano-ano yung naiisip. And um, I think when, I believe that my best experience was when uh, holiday 2013. Okay. When, yeah, when, uh, when... We presented that collection. You veiled direct. You nakamaskara lahat ng models. Ah, yes, models. yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. yes. It was paired but with a very colorful director, Direct Raymond. And <laughs> around that time, direct. Oh, oh, around that time, direct. Medyo nag improve na yung collection. Pero I came full circle during that time. That collection. Yun yun. So, yun yun. Yun yun. And uh, napansin ko direct Joey already kept on. Parang talking about me, how I improved, and it really made me happy, no? Because of course we don't serve the man, we don't serve to please men, but of course it matters to me. Na um, I, I get to impress them. Next would be when we started showing abroad. That really mm. mattered mm. in our career. At the same time, uh, when we started doing Miss Universe, and then. Uh, fourth, dami pala, no? fourth, uh, my residency in Korea, you know, we Ooh. get to, uh, yeah, Korea. So we get to be a part of an organization there supported by the government. Is it fashion? And, yes, fashion direct. Oh, fashion. okay, okay. Mm-hmm. So uh, we, I just celebrated, uh, we just celebrated our third year. Hopefully we could go back for a live fashion show. So, oh, so then, na, no? Mm-hmm. And then, of course, it's international recognition. I'm also a part of the Council of ASEAN Fashion Designers, which is the only recognized uh, ASEAN Fashion Council. I and know. That, Alam ko yan. No? Hindi yung mga uh, kung sino-sinong grupo lang dyan. You know what I mean? Yes, it's true. Mm-hmm. And the fifth one, direct the highlight, is yung, ano, yung Shein uh, XG in La Sala. Mamaya pag-usapan natin yung Shein na yan. <laughs> Gian, uh, ano, mahilig kang ano, no? i-incorporate sa gawa mo ang words of God. No? Yeah. Um, it, it, it inspires you. They inspire you. Uh, yung mga salita ng Diyos. Bakit? Why did you decide to, to make the words of God part of your Gian Lasala fashion? Well, kasi direct, when you become a born-again Christian, kasi when you decide to follow the Lord, everything that you do becomes spiritual. And mm-hmm. when you, like, for example, if I try to uh, explain that uh, in, in, a, in an earthly manner, when mm-hmm. you have a relationship with someone, you become the person uh, with, uh, parang you become the person, parang ka naging tao, how do you explain it? Parang whatever you do revolves around that relationship, right? So uh, same with my relationship with the Lord. Everything that flows through me is, are the words of God, the results of my relationship with the Lord. So, yung nakikita mong fruitfulness direct sa career ko, ever since I became a Christian, it's all about the goodness of God. And I wouldn't be even be here if not for what the Lord has done. Oh, so, yung talent na binigay niya sa'yo, no? Diba? Correct. And it's not just about honoring Him. It's really about um, obeying what He wants me to do in fashion, what his mission is now with my talent, the purpose that attaches with it. So, yun lang naman direct. And the designs that you see is really the work of God. Even me, I get surprised na, na we, how in the world I was able to produce that. So, uh-huh. the wisdom of, yeah, di ba? Parang the wisdom of the Lord direct is not just reserved to his commandments, to what, how we should do life. But it's on, it's how we create also things and how we strategize because the number one creator is god he when he created the oh, world yes. what is oh, this dumb Shang so, number one artist Shang exactly. ultimate artist yes Derek. so i'm really just um kumbaga, i'm just echoing the wisdom of the lord through creating 
Gian, matanong lang kita. Anong pinaka ultimate goal mo in fashion? Although itong itong ngayon sa ngayon, no, you are do, you are with Shein. So can yeah. you tell us about number one Shein? Tapos yung ultimate goal mo pa after okay. pag uh, sabi natin in five years time or ten years time. Ano pa ang goal na gusto mong magawa? Okay, so um with Shein direct, it was so. Again, it, uh, it was a God-appointed, uh, uh, ito, God-appointed blessing. Because after Miss Universe 2020, kina Rabia, di ba it happened? Kailan nga yung direct May? May yun, di ba? Tama, May 2021. May. Pero 2020 yung May, yes. di ba? No. Uh, so, after that direct, mga two weeks after yata, nakareceive ako ng text. Imagine ha, of all things, text on WhatsApp. Uh, from Shein okay. daw sila. Uh, Oo, oh, Shein. And then this was the Asian uh, Asian office. Asking Saan yan? If... Saan ang office nila sa Asia? Singapore. Singapore ah, direct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so when I did that, um, when I received that, of course, hindi ako nag-hesitate. I said, okay, yes, mm-hmm. uh, can I have details? Can I have details? Hindi ka muna only... natakot? Hindi ka muna natakot? Baka mamaya, in, in, baka hindi totoo? Um, hindi naman direct kasi when I saw sa so ang una ko kasi ginawa sa ko okay I would love to explore this and can I have a Zoom meeting with you so nung nag Zoom meeting na kami dun na dun na nag sync in na uh, ah okay totoo it's legit and uh, grabe direct when I read the contract it was really about promoting the designer talaga kung baga mm. Shein has yeah walang makukuha si Shein apart from the fact mm. that of course they have to earn They also Talaga? have to earn, of course. Oh, yeah. oh. Um, walang kukunin. May, they, what I mean, Derek, is parang mas marami ako makukuha than she in in terms of not profit, but promotion. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll start for career. And what happened is uh, she in will produce everything. They will do the marketing. What I need to do lang is um, create the designs and I get a percent of the proceeds. No, So, mm-hmm. And ang galing direct kasi di ba I have retail background I did SM bench mm-hmm. so when I did the entire process hindi na siya bago for me uh, medyo nahirapan ako ng konti but di ako nag, hindi ako nahirapan uh, in a sense na mag-adjust so uh, yeah so we started production July after everything was approved and it got just got launched last January mm-hmm. of course I had um, fear kasi syempre she has a uh, uh, It, it you know sometimes the reputation precedes itself diba, in the industry but the lord was so good he protected me from all of it um and i got a very good support to the point na the sales through was really good and because of that good yeah stay tuned for what's to come and i can't say it yet mm-hmm. but there's so much to look forward to with she in And then uh, my ultimate goal, it's hard to say direct, especially that I have a relationship now with the Lord. But all mm. I can say is what you see now is a foretaste only of what the Lord can do pa in the near future. So if I'm worldwide now by a partnership, then it's not any more impossible for God to do what he really wants me to do in terms of fashion, which is to siguro have my own label na, na global And uh, perhaps, no, promise na yun eh, na, na I can do, let's say, what Michael Cinco can do. But not in a level of what Michael Cinco does in terms of design. But mm-hmm. perhaps global prominence. Maybe. So, Naku, yeah, hindi let's... naman nalalayo yan. As long as you have faith, kakaya, tutulungan ka naman ni Lord. No? Pero syempre, gagawa ka din, di ba? Hindi naman puro no, skaters lang, di ba? So, mm-hmm. Gian... Ah, uh, meron lang ako napansin, no? Ditong especially nitong recent years, mahilig kang magdamit ng mga pageant contestants from the African continent, no? What ano yung nagfa-fascinate sa you to create clothes for these beautiful women? Bakit sila? Bakit uh, mahilig ka do sa mga African women? You know, direct even me, I I really have no clue. But um, when I try to recall, because I said, oh, Lord, why is it that I'm so fascinated with African women? What's, so, what's with them? But I believe direct, no? back when I was young, kasi, I already had that fascination too. Like, when I, 
yun taste ko talaga different. When everybody when everybody wants the color red, I'll go for the color yellow. Yung mga ganun mm-hmm. talaga. So, ang naalala ko pa dati, nung nanonood ako ng Miss Universe 1994, ang pinakanagandahan ako was si Miss Namibia. <laughs> Hindi siya nagsalupan. Maganda yung sinabi yun, di ba? Si Barbara oh. kahit dya para. Natatandaan ko yun. Yes. <laughs> Oo. And, di ba direct siya, nag, ano siya, di ba, Miss World din. And she received mm-hmm. the same, same award. Puro Miss Friendship, di ba? So, um, then growing up, I really loved Naomi Campbell. And then now, mm-hmm. pinag-pray ko siya. Sabi ko, Lord, bakit black women? And, simple lang naman yung sagot ni Lord sa akin. It was really more an, an anointing talaga direct na, Now I understand why them kasi parang the Lord really meant to create a difference in that con- in that continent. And true enough direct um yung impact na ginawa natin for them still last long until now. Even me without expecting na ganun pa lang yung impact to them. So nakakatuwa din but more than anything maganda for me talaga yung mga African women. Kanya kanya taste um mm-mm. Hindi, Gian. Ako naman, personally, natutuwa ako dahil you give importance to the, co- the African continent and their women, no? Uh, lahat naman tayo pantay-pantay. At natutuwa ako na may isang Filipino designer, siguro dalawa na kayo, tatlo, na nag- nagdadamit sa kanila. Because they're not, they're not inferior to anybody else. They are co-equal. Nagka, 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 ano lang, nagkaiba lang sa color ng skin but they are beautiful in their own right diba? yeah. lahat dyan right. wala tayong karapatang humusga but, pero natutuwa ako na you have this love for for the ebony colored women mm. na you know to, to dress them up in the world stage kasi minsan hindi sila na pinapansin eh. at saka mabuti na lang meron kang ganun ano? meron kang gusto mo yung kulay nila. Um, yeah. yun, yun napansin ko. Tapos, syempre, pasalamat din ako. Napasama dun sa ating virtual si Miss Tanzania. Di ba? Yeah. Nagpadala ng video. Uh-huh. Di ba? She was uh-huh. part of it. Maraming natuwa dun na hindi lang mga Pinay ang finiture natin. Meron din tayong, ano, from somebody from Tanzania who gamely joined our virtual presentation. Yeah. Diba? Yeah. It was a thankful thing no, that you did it. Um, another thing, Gian, no? your, your creations have been featured sa mga international pageants. No? And if I may say, na-conquer mo na ang world stage through those wow. pageants. No? How do you feel when you... Papan, anong nararamdaman mo pag nakikita mo yung creations mo sa world stage? through those exposure? Um, you know, direct, sometimes it still feels very unreal. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I'm, I'm not bragging, no, but um, it, it really feels unreal and I praise the Lord for it talaga. Pag kinakausap ko si Lord nga when, for example, when that's about to happen, no, I said, Lord, we are affecting a nation and kiniklabutan ako minsan talaga direct. Like, Hindi, aminin mo, Gian. Nanood uh-oh. ka lang nung 1994. Well, bagets yeah. ka pa noon. So, hindi mo naman inisip na magiging part ka pala niyan. Imagine, Actually, uh, recently, uh-oh. sino yung dinamitan mo yung pinakahuli nitong 2021? Kenya. 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 And before that, dinamitan mo naman si Belize. Yes, yeah, Central diba? America. Diba? So, yeah. Central America. So, ano pa rin, ebony skin pa rin naman kasi sila. Yeah. Diba? Oh, diba? And, oh. and, and hindi, hindi mo ba na, hindi, mo, hindi ka ba nangingilabot na na ano na nandito nakasali na ako sa mantalang dati nanonood <laughs> lang ako di ba yeah oo oh, oh. it it's you know it it still feels very surreal it's a uh, um i can't describe the feeling it really oh, gives oh, me oh. so much joy talaga and at the same time direct it it gives you so much humility kasi um people would think na uh, for example no they would look at look at us or look at me or look at Michael Cinco they would think na oh every we have it all figured out. But when you look at the Lord with all of these things, it doesn't match His glory. Eh? So, for me, I, I always look back, I always look at God and just thank Him. Because uh, at the end of the day, um, after all of this celebration, you're mm. pa eh. still gonna go back to reality. Gigising and, ka pa rin Gian Lasala. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you just have all of these things, but I just don't allow it to define me. 
Um, sometimes binapat, binabatukan ako ng mga kaibigan ko. Na parang ano ka ba? Kuya Gian. Eh, kasi mga bata yung mga dinidisciple ko ngayon. Direct. Mm-hmm. Eh. Pero they still look at me as someone. <laughs> ano mo yun? Mas ako, no. I'm just I'm a regular human being. I serve God. I have a relationship with Him. And I'm just doing the Father's will. Kaya sometimes when I look at it direct, I just still couldn't believe it talaga. I mean, honest to goodness. Diba? Uh, diba, Gian? Yeah. Diba? So, ikilan ikaw, hindi mo rin ma-describe yung feeling oh, na nandiyan ka na. Yeah. Diba? Kasi ako, na, natutuwa ako when I hear design, Filipino designers na nagdadamit na sa world stage. Diba? Nakakatuwa at pinagkakatiwalaan kayo. Diba? Yeah, Pinagkakatiwalaan. Kasi ibig sabihin, world class na yung mga ginagawa ninyo. And just, I hope all designers will will just keep up the good work. Diba? Yung Filipinos, we, uh, yeah. definitely, I personally, I'm proud to see everyone doing clothes for the different women of the world. No? Nakakatuwa. Yeah. So, yun na nga. Ikaw din, kasama ka doon. Nagdadamit ka na ilang taon ka na nagdadamit sa Miss Universe. I just celebrated, we just celebrated our fifth year direct. Lima na. And then yeah. sa ibang ibang international pages, nakapagdamit ka na. Hindi pa. Universe. Tag- <laughs> so, ah, yun talaga. I know, talaga I did pinak- pala. Sorry. I did na Desert. supranational and earth. Ah, yeah. okay. Yun pala. Oh, meron na. Tatlo na, di ba? Universe, yeah. supra, tsaka earth. So, sana more pa. No? Yes. Oh, with the will of the Lord. God, we will be direct. Oh, oh. Gian. Ang designers exposed sa maraming bagay, beautiful comments and bad comments. How do you handle criticisms? Ah, uh, you know, direct. Sometimes I just shake it off na lang. Um, before, uh, especially during the time no, na we already got noticed and uh, naalala ko pa, at di ba, there was this mga website na dedicated to that talaga no bashing mm, no? Mm. So, oh, and na nahuli yung culprit di ba <laughs> nakatawa din mga ano natin wala na natin mga... pangalanan baka sumikat oh, oh exactly <laughs> and na uh, nakatawa tong mga kaalyado natin in fashion kasi uh parang really you know so parang obsessed in finding out ako lang direct uh before it was hard it was difficult especially when I became a Christian. You knew about it, and um, in fact, it was the industry who really pinned me down, de ba? Because uh, yung mga yun, it it uh, they it it was as if they knew me personally, no. But mm-hmm. looking at looking back at it direct, no, um, pinatatawanan ko na lang, and I still pray for those people, because those same people who uh, who threw me at the gutter are the same people who are showing me their respect now. And um, now, direct when I handle negative comments, I just really pray to God. Na lang. Of course, it still affects me. I'm a human mm-hmm. being. I have a soul. Uh, but uh, I just pray to God. I buti na lang. We're blessed now. I go shopping if I ever. <laughs> or <I> work. <laughs> Tawag mo ko Gian, ako. Uh-oh. Hindi ko talaga minamind. I really don't mind them. Wala, eventually hindi naman sila, hindi ko pinapansin. So hindi sila tumitigil na lang sila kasi I really don't care. I'll just yeah. go on with life. I'll, I'll just go on with what I do. I'm sure ganun din ang ginagawa mo, 'di ba? You don't yeah. mind them. Oh. Not unless na siguro direct if it's uh, if it's gonna put my connections at threat. Nagiging uh, threat uh, siya. So what I do is lang, uh, for example, recently there were fans who uh, did a smear campaign against me. Hmm? Recently, Sanya. Lang, oh, recently, Sanya. Sanya. Uh, ano yan? Instagram. So, ang ginawa ko, before it became, it before it blows, blows out of proportion, I sent hmm. a message to the organization involved. And so, bro, nila, po. Grupo ito. Kasi it, it ano, para bang ang ginawa, ako kasi there, I have a bad habit of liking mga post na hindi nagbabasa mm-hmm. ng caption. Mm-hmm. Kasi mm-hmm. pwede matutuwa ka, ganyan, ganyan. Naka, na, napansin ko na yung post na yun, pero nakakalimutan ko na negative pala yung uh, caption. Mm-hmm. The girl involved, for example, si girl na binash, nagpost kasi ako ng about her na maganli na maganda and nag, nagtaka yung mga fans na kumbaga parang ang plastic ko daw I'm double faced so ang ginawa ko I messaged the the organization who handles that girl 
And I'm happy to know na parang they just really don't mind about those things because they already know me and they know that I don't do such things. So, uh, so yeah, ganun lang yung mga ginagawa ko direct uh, if, if it parang severs my connections with people. So, the last time I did that was when, you know, my testimony as a Christian became so controversial. So, ginawa ko, una kong ginawa direct with that blew out of proportion. Ginausap ko yung mga important connections ko talaga. Uh, na parang explaining to them na it was not what I intended to do. Yung mga ganon. Uh, you, you get what I mean. So, and I'm happy direct that you're very supportive of my faith. And I, I bless the, I praise the Lord uh, for you direct no na naalala ko direct no nag-show tayo di ba din din ng joke ito na yung controversial na Gian Lasala but kidding aside <laughs> said di ba na uh, pantay-pantay tayo dito Gian um you were not supposed to be treated that way and it really uh na touch talaga ako nung direct honestly and kayo ni dela direct Raymond uh mm-hmm. did not ano talaga put me down in fact you even you guys really built me up pa talaga, even up until now. So, uh, nakakatawa direct, nakakatawa talaga, to, to be honest. And I praise the Lord for for all of you who really stood by my side. No? Ako, hayaan mo niya mga kanigahan na yan, Gian. <laughs> Basta tayo tuloy-tuloy lang, di ba? Yes, anyway, so... Gian, uh, as I mentioned to you uh, before we started this interview, uh, the second highest number view of my viewers is uh, the 14 to 17-year-old uh, generation no can you please ano to talk to the young designers out there wa, uh, what is the best advice that you can give them ano yung pinakamagandang advice na mabibigay mo sa mga bata na nangangarap din may katulad mo well for me direct no one of the biggest lessons that i learned was um if napansin mo direct i i always have self doubt if this vision would work if this would ganito ganyan so when I became a Christian, one of the things that the Lord healed me from was self-doubt. So my advice to the young designers, kung ano yung vision na binibigay ni Lord sa inyo, go in you yan. That's for you. And whatever criticism you receive, of course, that would hurt you, but definitely it doesn't define you. And right now, um, I strongly encourage you to be your own individual. So kung may vision ka, go in mo yan. Uh, people are not supposed to understand fashion. If they understand you, it means to say you're not doing anything different. <laughs> so you have to challenge, um, not to challenge the vision, but do something that you love to do talaga. If they don't understand it, fine. Because eventually, um, along the process, when you trust the Lord, puputa ka din naman talaga sa destination kung ano yung para sa yun talaga. So we are not si Gian, mm-hmm. sigurado ako na dinig nila yung pangalan mo na gumagawa ka na ng gowns for Miss Universe. Mm-hmm. I'm sure marami nangangarap din yan na gusto ko maging Gian Lasala din pagdating ng panahon. <laughs> diba? So tama na may advice mo, just always leave it to the Lord and do their yeah. best always. Diba ganun naman talaga palagi? Correct, correct. Do their best. Diba dapat and, ganun? And ano din direct, like, uh, for your young viewers, now, what I did kasi with Sierra Leone when I started out with Miss Universe, I was the mm. one who first reached out. So, may kasabihan tayo sa Pinoy, di ba, na wag maging huwan tamad, na mag-aantay na lang na yung prutas ay bumaba. <laughs> di ba? <laughs> di pwede. Di pwede. Di pwede. So, as a designer, as a young designer, if you believe in yourself talaga, that you can make it. Grab the opportunity na you believe na para sa'yo. Diba? And ang kalaban mo lang dyan, dalawa lang. Ibang tao at saka ikaw. Pero ang worst na enemy mo ay ikaw. It's yourself, ikaw, yes. Yourself lang talaga. So, go grab it. Reach out to as many people as you can who believe, whom you believe can give you a breakthrough. So, Gian, matanong lang kita. This is my final question for you. No? Uh, anong secret formula ni Gian Lasala to survive the rigors of being a fashion designer, lalo na dito sa Pilipinas? For me, Derek, it's really just God. God is the secret formula. Um, in fact, Derek, um, when I became a Christian during the pandemic, it was when the Lord really blessed me extravagantly. Bless me beyond belief talaga. Uh, the world 
may have defined what COVID is and how we should live our lives during COVID. But the Lord is not, is not a respecter of man. Eh? He's not a respecter of any worldly authority. So my secret formula is God, have a relationship with the Lord. Um, I know na in our industry, there is a group of people na who doesn't want the Lord because they, they got hurt by the church. But if you are that person, I strongly suggest na whatever struggles you have of your identity, just come to God. Because uh, that's what I did there. I came to God and it was Him who transformed me. Uh, your relationship with the Lord, you're not supposed to explain that to people. No? So that's personal. Whatever choices you make for the Lord, uh, you share that as a testimony. If other people can understand, then it's okay. So you get persecuted directly if you follow the Lord. And that, that's what the Lord promised. But on the other side of that, the Lord really will promote you as you continue to allow Him to work in your life, to be humble, not humble by reducing yourself, but you know, just allowing the Lord to work on your situation and submit mm-hmm. yourself to Him. So that's my formula direct. And of course, um, study, alam mo yun, be faithful to the daily work. Mm-hmm. You have to do the, your job have integrity uh ano pa ba um kasi yung desire ni lord direct is to be excellent talaga eh, diba? In everything mm-hmm. that you do, be excellent talaga and um do uh, provide more than what you can deliver yeah be kind. tama tama uh, you don't wag kang magpapabox diba kung may bibigay mo ibigay mo na yeah diba? bigay na lahat diba? yes jia um, anything that you want to promote, um, I'll give you this chance to to promote something or baka meron okay. kang ibang gusto mong sabihin sa audience natin. Uh, for me, promotion, okay, Shein X Gina Sal is still out in the market and you can shop that by the Shein app. And if you are a bride on a budget, you can also talk to me uh, with La Sala Bride. Uh, and di naman the sana bride at Insta- Instagram yan? Instagram? Facebook. Facebook, Facebook. Instagram. Okay, Lasal, yeah. Lasala, L-A-S-A-L-A, Brides. No? Yeah, Lasala Bridal. Oh, so. ah, bride, Lasala Bridal. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, on Facebook. Yeah. Oh. Yes, and then, um, uh, of course, we're a mainstay in the national pageants. Uh, just stay tuned who we are dressing up in the national pageants. And um, yeah, if you want meron to support, ba? Meron ba kami nga abangan sa mga meron susunod direct. na mga buwan? <laughs> yes, meron direct. And okay. Meron, meron. Both in universe and the local one. Local. Ah, franchise. okay. Binibining. Binibining. Oh, good. Yeah. Sige. So, Gian, thank you very much for this interview. You know, I'm very direct. happy that you're part of this, uh, of my YouTube interviews, no? Yes, and uh, I know you just came from somewhere. Alam nyo bang karating <laughs> lang niya sa bahay? Pero oh. <laughs> since he said yes to me at uh, nag-peg kami na 8pm na interview, talagang hindi pa yan yata na, hindi pa yata yung kumakain o naliligo. Diretso na sa interview. Diretso yung interview direct. Buti sa naya ako mag-fasting. So, okay lang na. Oh, so, Gian, thank you and bye-bye everyone. Bye, bye everyone. Thank you.